Thank you, Peony, for the introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to tell you a story. A story about a group of scientists that wanted to better mankind by sharing their ideas with other scientists from across Europe, even across the world, in a quick amount of time. They did this by inventing a little thing called the internet. And at the time, the internet was great because whatever file they stored in this internet, this system, anyone else can have access to it that was part of the group, of the scientist group. It was great. So they could share ideas and work together and, and improve mankind. And then we got a hold of the internet. And we commercialized it. And then that's when you get AOL, TELUS, and Shaw. And that's your search engines. And pretty much it's just information for users, not very precise, and you never find what you're looking for. Then you get Web 2.0. Web 2.0 is okay. You got Google, you got Yahoo. And it's not just information for users. But it's also information by users from us. We're able to collaborate, comment on these websites, and give our ideas. Yet, not very precise when you're trying to look for information. And 90% of the information that you're looking for, you can't really find. A lot of crap. Well, then you get Web 3.0. And there's where the game changes. It all goes back to the beginning. Where data was accurate, was precise, you found what you were looking for, and you didn't have to spend hours and hours and then looking for that. And that's what I called precision. Thank you. And now I pass it on to Carlos.